So here we go again, guys. I've pointed it down this way just so you don't get bored with looking at the, the same view all the time. Point it down that way. But I'll stand over here. God bless you, Scarborough. We have come here to tell you how much God loves you. We have come here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved and enter into heaven and escape the damnation of hell by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's very naive to think that this life is all there is. There's a heaven and there is a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life in Jesus Christ, will determine which one you spend eternity in, heaven or hell, and the choice is yours. God has given all men, all men, free will, a chance to enter into everlasting life. A chance to be saved from hell. And it's so simple, God made it so simple that a little child could understand it. Because God wants all to be saved. We're not talking about being religious. We're not talking about going to church every Sunday. We're talking about having some faith and believing on Jesus Christ and what he did for us. Because the Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody who believes the gospel, the gospel is how that Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for all our sins, all means all, past, present and future. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. That's how simple it is to be saved. We're not talking about being religious. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus because he has promised that he will not turn anybody away. He's only asking that you would believe on the name of the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for us on the cross. Jesus will not turn anybody away. Karina! I'm sorry, I wasn't being rude. No, 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 I was going to go and get you a drink. Oh, okay then. Do you want a sausage roll or something? I don't, I don't eat uh, pork. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, it's okay. Do you want a sandwich or Hello? something? Bella? I was going to get you something. Uh, do you want a hot drink? What's the name again? I forgot. Lexi. 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 Do you want a hot drink or something like that? Yeah, are you going to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Come on then. Are you going to say hello, girls? Say hello to the camera. That's oh. Lexi. That's Karina. You remember Karina? Hi, everyone. How Where's are Bella? you all? And there's, and there's Bella. Bella. She's trying to run away. <laughs> God bless you all. Jesus is coming soon. Yes, if you don't I know am. Jesus, you need to take hold of your salvation now. I just want to pray for you all and just pray. I thank you, Lord, for our prayers and for your blessings. Anybody on there that doesn't know Jesus, we are praying for you. We are praying for you. We are praying for you to receive the gospel and to know who Jesus is. Anybody who's in pain, we are praying for you right now. We are praying for you to be healed and set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. What a Praise wonderful God. prayer. Praise you remember God. Karina from uh, last year when she played the ukulele? Well, that's her two daughters. She's come to get us drink. I'm going to continue because I'm just watching all these people passing and it's just um, more people and um, souls. That's what I'm thinking about. Right, I'm going to get back into it again. Do you want to tell them about Jesus? Mom. <laughs> yeah, tell them, tell them. Tell them that Jesus loves them. Go on. Go on. Say Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> That's so lovely. Oh. Do you want a hot drink? Uh, Does your friend want a hot drink? Tea. Make it up for her. Really? He's speaking Spanish. Spanish. Cheap soup for Peru. Hola.
Do you, mind, do, you, do you mind if I continue? Just money on five minutes. God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus. That whosoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. No sugar. The only requirement for you to be saved and know you're going to enter into heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. If we're not talking about being religious and it doesn't matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus because he has promised that he will not turn anybody away who comes to him. We are in the final moments of the end of this age. And Jesus Christ is about to come for his church. The Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall be resurrected. Then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. And so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Then, according to the prophet Isaiah, according to the book of Revelation, this world shall be turned upside down immediately after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven in the rapture. This world will be turned upside down during what Jesus described as the Great Tribulation. A time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And if God didn't shorten the days of the great tribulation, then no flesh would survive. During the seven years, the great tribulation, the apocalypse, this world shall be turned upside down. When this one world leader comes on the world stage, forms a new world order, he will say, I am the Christ, but he is the false Christ. He is the Antichrist. And he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. The mark of the beast, 666, and without the mark, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. But once you take the mark, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death, the destruction of the soul for eternity. This doesn't have to happen to you. You don't even have to be here for what's coming upon this world. If you lay hold of your salvation and secure your eternal security and be sure of your eternal destination, don't take the gamble there's no heaven, that there's no hell, because there is. Don't wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is, because then it will be too late. Lay hold of your salvation, because Jesus said, unless you repent, change your mind, and believe the gospel, you will all perish. That means you'll land in hell if you don't believe on Jesus Christ. How that Jesus was sacrificed to pay the penalty for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. So simple. Salvation is an event. It's not a process. Salvation comes the moment you truly believe the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ and you call upon him. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. And he saved me. He sealed me with his Holy Spirit of promise. He sanctified me. He justified me. All because... Not because of anything good that I did, but because I believed on the one who did it all, Jesus Christ. I believed, I believed in my heart that Jesus was indeed crucified on that cross. 
to pay the penalty for all our sins. I believed it. I believed in my heart that God raised him to life on the third day. I believed this. I called upon Jesus and I was saved, sealed, sanctified, justified, heaven bound and rapture ready. So please do not reject the very one who could write your name in heaven. Do not reject the very one who could grant you a mansion in heaven. According to the Bible, that's what's in store for every believer, a mansion in heaven. And it comes simply by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ and calling upon Jesus. That's it. That if you shall confess Jesus as Lord, say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. Period. Nothing else, nothing more. You believe on the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus, that he took the penalty for all your sin, you call upon him, boom, you'll be saved. And you will never lose your salvation. And I urge you, implore you, to do so today if you haven't. Please, because time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming. The rapture of the church is about to take place. When the Lord Jesus Christ shall tear open the heavens above, he shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead, all that ever believed on Jesus, will be resurrected, and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. Don't be left behind. God bless you, sir. Jesus loves you. you. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful, adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Don't be ashamed to turn to the Lord Jesus. He will abundantly receive you, pardon all your sin, and grant you everlasting life. And the only requirement is that you believe the gospel. Pointing you up there is a bit better, I think. Again, I will repeat myself. The only requirement for you to be saved with, with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ in your heart and call upon him. That's it. God made it so simple for everybody to be saved. Because God wants all to be saved. The Bible says he wants all to be saved. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. No matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Thank you, Karina. Right, hold on, I'll just... I'll just continue a few more minutes and then I'm going to stop. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Notice the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life is believe. Believe. That's it. Have some faith. Believe that Jesus did indeed die on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, I said come into my life Lord Jesus. If you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is the only requirement for you to be saved 
Know that you're going to be taken up to heaven in the rapture, which is about to take place at any moment. And this is the last call into the kingdom of God before the rapture takes place. Immediately after that, Jesus takes all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Immediately after, this world shall be turned upside down during what Jesus described as the Great Tribulation. Seven years. Seven years when God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ. Seven years, seven years when this one world leader comes on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world. He will say, I am the Christ, but he is the false Christ. He is the antichrist. And he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. The mark of the beast, 666, without the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. But everybody who takes the mark in their right hand or in their forehead will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death the destruction of the soul for eternity. And if you don't want this to happen to you, then lay hold of your salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's so simple. If any church has not told you how simple it is to be saved, then I'm telling you straight from the Bible itself that the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ in your heart and call upon him. The gospel is how that Jesus was sacrificed on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all all our sins. Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried he rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you believe that in your heart and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That's the only requirement. If you want to be saved, believe the death, the burial, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Call upon him and you will be saved. That's it. Battery's gone on the speaker, so just good timing actually, because I've had enough. <laughs> so, oh, so 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 cold-hearted. Some people, it's uh, it's not nice to see. Obviously, it's not nice for me to see. Hey, hey, how are you doing, bro? I've got, I'm on camera, so are you going to say hello, Edwin? His brother Edwin. Hello. He's hello. a believer. Don't do that with your hand. That's the devil uh, horns. Oh, is it? Is it? I yes. Thought it's, uh, I thought it's. Uh, don't do that. That's devil horns. Peace, peeps. No, I don't mean that. That's what. Oh, oh yeah, that's what you're saying. Okay. All right. That's fine. Fair enough. Who's that? All right. All right. Here All we right. go. Right. I'm off. I want to say one more thing. Oh, go on then, Karina. Anyway, I'm off you. All right, Edwin, bye. bye. I just I want to you, say that it's not about what we do, 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 but it's about no. what Jesus has done. Exactly. We it's d about what Jesus has it's done. It's not about anything we must do, no. apart from believing it's on what Jesus has done. It's just about what Jesus has done. That's it. Faith. We don't need to do anything. Believe. He does yeah. it. He's the one that's doing it. The Holy Spirit within us is the one that's doing it. I pray that you receive the Holy Spirit right now in Jesus' name. The fire of the Holy Spirit to touch every single person. Yes, in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. That's lovely. Isn't she lovely? So, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to try and get out and do more walk and talk videos now that my health has been restored. So, um, so I'll see you in the next video. God bless you and thank you for all you who prayed and supported. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. God bless you. I love you. We're going home soon, guys. God bless.